what's up guys um welcome to my channel this is another tutorial on php and my sql um on this tutorial i'll show you how you can create a um, simple shopping cart and i'm going to use bootstrap for my styling and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to click on the subscribe button so that um you'll miss any tutorial from this channel right now so let's dive into the tutorial okay so i have uh, already created my database um, the table okay so this is the data in the table right so I created this um, the ID name and then price and then I inserted the data into it manually right so this is the image and then the price of the item and the name right so if you are new to e-commerce um, shopping cart right so what you need to do is to create new database and create a table and then click on insert and then insert um, data ma manually by yourself right um, so um, these are here are the images right um, these are the images so you can see I have a phoenix here the price and then the name of the image right and then the fire extension right that's why you can see phoenix.dfif right so you need to do this if you are new to um shopping carts right so that's all i want to show you so what you need to do is to create your index file and then um dot php Let's add the bootstrap CDN. Okay. Copy the CSS. Let's build the layout um, as container view. Okay. If class <coughs> call MD twelve. shopping cart data here right so I'll make two shopping cart data set the test to center selected text center ok so let's run this local host ok ok this is how it looks like so um let's begin by making the connection password 
shopping cart okay so i'll print the data here so I should start everything here it's my query select storage from um that's cattle yeah cat item okay results cause on my SQLI query So let me close the PHP tags and then open new one here. Okay. Okay, so let's print the data out. Mm. So form. So the method to get action. Pro ID. Okay. Should add the image. Uh, we see the IMG folder and then the image name. Is this and then um, price? Okay, you run it and let's see how it works. Um, getting on error. Um, okay, just paste that. Just copy this and cut. Oh. Then paste that here. Class MD4. Then close that system.
Okay, let's do this time. The font size it's too much. Um, it's five. Um, number format. Set the text to center. Text center. Okay. Submit. So um, this data, not data, sorry. name and then value row name okay you can copy that then um, paste it and then um, change the name to price quantity value um, um, class from control okay okay so this how I will print the data so that um, is a scanner to cut so Okay, let me try to add to cut. Oh, I uh, made a mistake. Um, change the method to post. Okay. Then refresh it. What you need to do now is to um, start the session because we are going to store the data in the session, right? So, um, if it's set, I'm um, add to cut, okay. and also if it's set, a variable section. The name of the session will be cut.
or so. So we store the data here. So use the get method to get the ID right. product the price and then the quantity right session area okay so let's see if um, this works session card so let's try this on the web So you can see um, the item that we had, the ID was 3 and you can see it here, the name, the price and then quantity 1, right? And with this we can add new products, so we're going to write code for that, right? And what we, do, we need to do now is to get the ID of the session, right? So. Sessionary ID array colon um, session card and then you want the ID right so ID and we check if um the product we are adding is not in the array so we can add it again um, get id sessionary id ok and with this um, you can copy this then paste it here again okay so add new product okay add new so you can see how it works it's very simple that so you have four products so um, what you need to do now is to build a table to display our card that we have been selected right so let's do that and we do that here so I have our output was empty string so we build some table simple HTML tags Um, okay. 
y'all. They would um, ID because it tag th. You can copy. empty session card for each okay so we display the items that you have selected here right so copy this to um, and paste name price quantity and then um total price will be number format um um the price of the price um times the quantity right Remove the not class song. Um,
first Chinese. Oh, but no. One, two. Um, okay, so I need to remove this. Okay, so um, this is the table. Span cluster to the price. Total equals zero. Total equals um. Total price. same here two and then um close this tag Ref. They got PHP um action equals Clear
of the pages more so let's make it just clear and then um let's try to um close for delete and then clear all right so um let's add the php tags if it's set get action equals um, clear all then um, on set section okay so let's try this working now so let's write code for the delete um, if, um, get action because remove they get ID right then one set session card key right okay so let's add new product So this is how um, I build my simple shopping cart and also um, on my next tutorial I'll show you how you can build this using Ajax so that the page won't refresh before you get the item and also um, thank you for watching and if this video was useful to you um, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also share this tutorial and if you get any error let me know in the comment section so that um, I can help you figure out right so see you in my next tutorial bye